Hi, this is Vince at Discounting Board Marine. Today we're going to get this ZR409 engine ready for winter. This is a raw water cooled engine. So we're going to start by putting some gas stabilizer in the fuel. You want to make sure the tank is full. This is about a 20 gallon tank. Uh, it's recommended an ounce for every 10 gallons for regular summer use with ethanol. And then for storage, they recommend you double that. So we're going to put about four ounces of fluid in the gas tank and then we're going to run the engine for a good 15 minutes and then that fuel will get through the full fuel system, the fuel control cell. This is a Pleasure Craft Marine engine with a fuel control cell through the injectors and it'll all be treated. That will also warm up the oil, the engine oil and the transmission oil and then we'll change that and drain it at that time and then we'll go ahead and fill it. Uh, for this engine, it's an older engine, we'll use 15W40 diesel engine oil. Uh, check your owner's manual and use the recommended oil. The new engines are running a 15W30 synthetic, uh, but do check your owner's manual or check with your dealer and make sure everything is covered. And we'll get started right now with putting some stabilizer in. We're going to go ahead and hook up a water supply. This is a Flush Pro flush kit that we sell. I did add this little bit of extra hose, made it easier to get to the fitting. It's just, these are all standard hose fittings. So we're going to take the cap off hook the hose up and then start the engine, warm it up so we can change the oil and the transmission fluid and also get that gas stabilizer through the fuel system. We just warmed up the engine. We're a little bit past 100 degrees on the gauge, so that's plenty warm enough to get the oil warmed up. Now we're going to take this hose, which is the oil drain kit. It's got a little cap on it. We're going to put this through the drain hole in the bottom of the boat. Now this is a direct drive, and usually the drain plugs are just forward of the engine. So we'll take this shove it down through the hole and then we'll go underneath the boat and take our oil catch pan take that cap off and let the oil drain into the oil catch pan underneath the boat on the V-drive boats a lot of times there isn't an access hole real close so you may need a pump to get the oil out or extend the oil drain hose to get to the back of the boat the transom where the plug is. So we'll go ahead and get that process started and then while that's going we're going to go and hunt every drain plug on this engine. And there are some blue uh, drain plugs that you can find and uh, we're going to make sure we get all the water out of the engine and the transmission cooler and oil cooler. Uh, the coolers I will pull the hoses on make sure there's no water in them and then we'll go from there. Okay, we've got our hose fed through the bottom of the boat. Now we're going to take this cap off the oil drain. It takes a 9 16 inch wrench to hold the fitting that goes into the hose, and it takes a 5 8 inch wrench to get the cap off. We got the cap loose, so now we're going to pull it, and in theory, the oil should drain out. Sometimes this process can take a while. It usually drains real slow. That's normal. And so we'll come back to this after the oil's drained. Okay, we've got our oil drained out. Changing the filter. PCM made this real easy on the six liters. There's the remote oil filter. You just spin it off, spin the new one on. And then be sure to put 
oil back in the engine. That's real easy. The oil fill is just in front of the exhaust manifold. And then when you go down here, you'll find some blue hoses. There's one on each side. These are your drain hoses for the water. And you want to drain every drain plug you can find on this engine. This is one. There's one. It's out of the engine right now. One down here for the exhaust manifold. And then there's another one right here that's a brass plug and you can see all these will drain the exhaust manifolds another point that I like to do and we'll go to the other side of the engine we'll show you those okay this drain hose again same thing it's a blue hose has a little blue cap on it just remove that cap and you want to push those hoses back down all the way back down into the bottom of the bilge and once they're down there then they'll drain out completely. One other thing, this particular engine has a flush kit on it and you want to make sure this flush kit is empty. You may have to pull the bottom hose out and there's a little valve in there and push that valve and that will remove the water from the unit. And then as you come forward, your thermostat housing is going to be here and I like to pull the main hose off the thermostat housing. We went backwards instead of forwards. But on the front there's a hose that goes to the transmission cooler and it goes to the oil cooler. There's both and you want to make sure that those hoses are pulled. And here's one of them right here. It goes to the cooler. It's on the front of the engine. And we did take the uh, cowling off the front of the engine so we could get to all these hoses and just make sure all the coolers are drained the main thermostat hoses are drained we also took this hose off which goes to the exhaust manifolds make sure that housing is drained out and once you get all that drained out you're good for winter well thank you for watching the videos and uh, if you have any questions or you're not sure about anything, please give us a call and always refer to your owner's manual and uh, make sure we didn't miss anything. Hope you have a great 2022 and wish you all a great season coming up. Thank you.